it's coming in front of us. That's called Laylatul Bara'ah, the night of innocence. That's the night that Allah writes what you're going to do the whole year. So they take that night as an important night and they pray that Allah can make their destiny or write for them a good year. So the adab or the protocol of that night to keep you busy, you can do 100 rakat by groups of two. There'll be uh, 50, 50, salam alaikum, salam alaikum. Every two rakat, salam alaikum, salam For every rakat, after the Fatiha, you do the Ikhlas, which is easy. How many times? Ten times. If you finish the whole thing, given that in the middle of the month when the moon is full, that's the center of this month, that's another Adab, good protocol. So there is that to do. There is fasting you can do if you can. If you have your health can permit that for you, you can fast. So there is all this blessing in this month that the Prophet called Shahrul Nabi, the month of the Prophet Before that, behind us, we just left the month called Rajab. That month has a nickname called Shahrullah, the month of Allah. And that month, at the end of it, there was the celebration or the remembrance of Dikra of Isra and Mi'raj. Isra is go, to go from Masjid al-Haram to Masjid al-Aqsa at night. And then Isra is to go up. Some they call it the Jacob's Ladder when he went up. And that miracle is the, for the Prophet Sallallahu himself. Allah wanted to make him happy. Because it came in the year that the Prophet called that year Amul Huzn, the day of sadness and grief. Because he lost his wife Khadija, he lost his grandfather that was defending him for the honor of the tribe. And then he said, oh, I'm going to look for some more support. He walked all the way to Taif, the city. From Mecca to Taif, like from walking from here to Sacramento. Walking. And then he told the, those people there, I am sent by Allah to give you this message. They said, oh, Allah doesn't have anybody else except you. And they told the kids, go ahead and throw stones at this guy. And they throw stones at him and he bled from his feet. And he sat down and he didn't say, oh, Allah curse those people. And Allah sent an angel to tell him, I am the angel of these mountains. If you want, I can crush this city with this mountain. He said, no. Maybe they carry within them some people who are going to believe. And he was asking Allah excuses. Excuse me, O oh Allah, for not doing good. He called himself giving this da'wah to ask people to come. That it was a failure and it was his fault. Look at the adab of Prophet Sallallahu he never blamed them. He blamed himself. Because of that, Allah sent him an invitation. He said, if they don't want to invite you and nobody is caring for you, I am going to give you a day that's going to erase that sadness that you have. And therefore, he took him from the Masjid al-Haram in al Masjid al-Aqsa, laylan at night, and there Allah brought all the prophets. He brought them back alive in their physical bodies to do a prayer there in the Dome of the Rock behind the Prophet. And that gave him such an honor to meet all of them and to be Imam al Mursalin. He's the Imam of all the prophets. So they prayed there. Then after that, Allah took him from heaven to heaven to heaven to heaven. Sab'a samawatin tibaqa. Now the Prophet explained about the samawat. He said the first heaven compared to, to the second heaven is like you take a ring 
and you go to the desert and you throw that ring in the desert, it disappears. That's how the comparison between one heaven and the other one. That's the first heaven compared to the second one, it's like a little ring you throw in the desert. And the second one compared to the third one, the same thing. Each one is bigger than the other one. So they're not the same thing as we can think in our mind. How did the Prophet ﷺ ascend it? Was he going with the speed of light? Because Muhammad ﷺ, he was a nur, he was a light. But we know that some stars, they show their light and their light was coming for millions of years before reaching here. Even though you see that star is already dead long time ago, but that light is coming. So the speed of the Prophet ﷺ was not the speed of light, it was more than that. It was the speed of the Allah saying, Kun, Kun. Said, be in the first heaven, but he appears there. Be in the second one. Be, kun, 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 kun. فَإِنَّمَا أَمْرُهُ إِذَا أَرَادَ شَيْئًا أَنْ يَقُولَ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُونْ said be here, he's there be here, he's there it's not a question of speed of light it's beyond the speed of light it's under Allah's command أَسْرَى بِعَبْدِهِ لَيْلًا إِلَى الْمَسْجِدِ الْأَقْصَى الَّذِي بَارَكْنَا حَوْلَهِ this word بَارَكْنَا حَوْلَهِ he said Subhan, beyond your mind, Allah, who took his servant at night from the Masjid Al-Haram to the Masjid Al-Aqsa, we call it now Jerusalem, that Dome of the Rock. Then he added, Alladhi barakna hawla. We had put baraka around there. What does that mean, baraka around there? If Allah put baraka down there, means nobody can change that place. They cannot put tunnels and destroy the dome and do this and that, and there is Baraka there. Baraka means there are angels protecting that place. Forever it is protected. Because Allah said so. Barakna hawla. We put Baraka around us. Why we mention Baraka and everybody else can do whatever they like there? No. You have to believe Allah. He said Barakna hawla, period. We put Baraka there. So we are not afraid of what the people are saying through this news, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, we're going to build this, we're going to... You say, Barakna hawla, Allah is taking care of that place. He is taking care. May Allah forgive us. Amen. And then he called this month, my month, Shahrun Nabi. And then he used to make a dua. Oh Allah, Barakna nafi Rajab. Put Baraka in this month of Rajab that just passed. وَبَارَكْ لَنَا فِي شَعْبَانِ Put Baraka in this month of Shaban. وَبَلِّغْنَا رَمَدَانِ And give us life to reach this month called Ramadan. And Ramadan is called شَهْرُ الْأُمَّةِ Is the month of the Ummah. May Allah forgive us. When Prophet ﷺ wanted to call the people for prayer, they say, should we use a, a bell? Or we use the, the ram, shofar, like the Jews were doing, to call the people. What can we do to call people? Tomorrow we'll deal with that. Tomorrow, one Sahabi, I forgot his name, Ibn Salman, Ibn Salam, something like that. He came, oh, Prophet of Allah, I had a dream. And in the dream, I heard the Adhan. It has four times, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. It has, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu an Muhammad Rasulullah. It has all that that we do in Adhan. He said, that's it. We will do that. We will do that Adhan. He said, shall I go and call the Adhan? He said, no. Your voice is not beautiful. Bilal has a better voice. Teach Bilal how to do that and let him call the Adhan. And that's how Bilal starts calling the Adhan. After the Prophet ﷺ went to the Rafiqul A'la, he went to his friend Allah, 
Sayyiduna Bilal, he went to Syria, Sham. Stayed for many years. After he came back to Medina, people, they beg him, please do the Adhan like he used to do when the Prophet was here. They please, we want to hear this Adhan. So he made one Adhan, the whole city cries. Because the, the beautiful voice. And after that, when Prophet ﷺ went to Mecca, they tried to find people who can do Adhan. So they had a lejna. They had a group of people to decide which, had, which one has a beautiful Adhan. They didn't just put anybody to do Adhan. Has to have somebody who has something. Their heart and their voice should be beautiful. Because Prophet ﷺ loved beauty. And Allah is beautiful and he likes beautiful things. We neglected this side of it. Sometimes I go to Marrakesh, I'm sleeping, okay, Fajr is coming, everybody is making Adhan. Some people, they make Adhan like a frog. You say, why is this Adhan like that? And they say, oh, the, the microphone is not good. And they just let anybody do the Adhan. They forget that the Prophet made, made a group of people to choose. Which one has the good Adhan? They don't just let anybody... How do they say here? Uh, Dick and Jerry or something. <laughs> anybody who's like that, go ahead and make Adhan. No! It has to be a beautiful one. And he wants in the recitation of the Quran to be someone who has beautiful recitations also. The beauty is very important in Islam. But some people now, they produce ugliness. And then people run away from Islam because they see it ugly. They say, I don't want to be like that. We are missing the beauty of Islam. And that beauty was before us. And still it is touching the people's heart. Even in construction, you go to Taj Mahal, it's beautiful. It has Surah Yasin all over the place, written. Surah Yasin written in a building so beautiful now they don't make time for beauty with the Saudis money and they make uh, little boxes masjid looks like a box like you're going to emergency room no pictures nothing it's a it's, uh, sterile they take Islam should be sterile may Allah forgive us where is that beauty that Prophet ﷺ was the representative of beautiful things. And you can see the architecture, they go to Alhambra or Alhambra in Spain because it's beautiful. And they had lions for, for, to show the hours. Every time the hour come, a lion gets the water out. Beautiful gardens, beautiful. So they worked on beauty. And now there is fit now, there's no more beauty anymore. There's only vengeance and blood spilling. If you want to go to Syria to, to help, you don't know which group is on the right. Each group has a vengeance against the other one. Well, that one killed my grandfather, I must kill them. Everybody wants to kill the other one. It's called fitna. May Allah forgive us from fitna. They asked the Prophet ﷺ, ma yil fitna? What is fitna? He said, al-haraj wal-maraj. He said, what is haraj? He said, killing for, for no reason. And lies. When lies and killing are together, that's fitna. Well, fitna to Allah said, well, fitna to ashaddu min al-qatl. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, fitna is worse than killing. Because if you kill someone, one for something, something. But fitna is a relay. You know, when you run a relay, you take the button, run, give it to the other one, is a relay of killing. I kill this one, now you kill the other one, and, and it goes on and on, killing, endless killing. That's why it's worse than qatl. Qatl is one, but fitna is endless circles of killing. Doesn't stop. It's blood that comes. comes up. Only if you stop the fitna, and you have to stop the people carrying the fitna, can peace be there. May Allah grant us that peace. Now that's why there is a turmoil over there. May Allah forgive us. Vengeance and grudge. 
And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he chose when he started the whole Quran, he started with Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Out of all these names he has, he chose Ar-Rahman, the merciful, Ar-Rahim, the most compassionate. He couldn't choose Bismillah Al-Muntaqim, Al-Jabbar, or Al-Qahar. He could have chose, in the name of God, Allah, the vengeful, and the one who kills, or who one, one who destroys. Those all are his names, but he didn't. He said, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. And how many times he, he repeat this, Bismillah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim? Every surah, Yallah, Bismillah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, then. Bismillah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, then. Except for surah number nine. There is no Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Some people they say, why? So if, if I'm going, or if a lady is going, somebody stole her purse, and she's running, 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 and she catch the guy with the purse. She doesn't say, hi, how are you? Says, why did you steal my purse? There's no Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Because Allah is speaking to those ones that broke their words. So he doesn't say Bismillah Rahman Rahim to them. He goes directly to them. Then that Bismillah Rahman Rahim, because there are 114, 114 Bismillah Rahman Rahim. That Bismillah Rahman Rahim that is hidden, it's hidden in Surat Al Naml, the ants. When Suleiman sent a letter to Bilqis, he said, Innahu min Suleiman wa innahu Bismillah Rahman Rahim. And there is that Bismillah Rahman Rahim that makes 114 Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Now, in Morocco, when, they, when the Imam recites the Fatiha, he said Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim inward. You don't hear Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. You start right away, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alam, right away in the Fatiha. That's good. We know he's saying Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim inwardly, and that's suitable for us. But you cannot carry that in America. If you have one who just became Muslim, is new, they have to hear Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Because you are delivering for the weakest link you have. Uh, somebody just took shahada yesterday. If they don't hear Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, they think you say, say the Fatiha, he goes, Alhamdulillah ar-Rahman What is Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim? What do you mean Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim? I never heard the Imam say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So, that, is it part of the Fatiha? Well, of course it is part of the Fatiha. So here, when I do the Fatiha, I make sure I say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. For one or two, who just became Muslim. So they know Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim is part of the Fatiha and Allah respected this word so much he repeated it 114 times. And for two times you don't want to repeat it? Only two times. Allah is not shy. In Allah la yastahi min al haq Allah is not shy of truth. He said it the way it is. So I would say in America we must say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. As the Prophet sallallahu when he used to pray, if a kid is crying, he makes his prayer shorter. Why? Because the weakest link is that child crying. So he makes a very short surahs. So why did he make short surahs? Because I don't want the mother to not be able to pray because her kid is crying. How he adjusts, and we need to adjust. We can't bring people that uh, are, are concord. Concord goes faster than the speed of sound. So some scholars, they come and they speak about something, nobody understands what's going on. And they're qala, this one, Bukhari said this, this one, that said, nobody understands what's going on. They're just patiently quiet until they pray. We need a helicopter, people. Helicopter, you land at everybody's mind. So they know what you're saying. What, what are we? We are in America. And we have different people coming from different sides. And we like beautiful voices. You're not going to say music is haram. Not to us. No. Music enhances our belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you hear uh, uh, Ray Charles singing in Georgia, say alhamdulillah, what a beautiful voice. Because Prophet ﷺ loved beautiful voices. And we should love beautiful voices. And Prophet ﷺ, when he recited the Quran, 
He didn't say, look, read what I have here. Iqra. It's not a, it's not a reading to read in a paper. Because when you read, you will hear your own voice within you. And you have your own picture. And you can interpret according to that picture you saw. But the Prophet used to say it alive. So they have the picture that he sees. Because when you recite alive, they can see what you're saying in their mind. It gives a picture. And it gives the words that enters here. The picture of that one who's saying it. So it's always better to say live the words of Allah better than to write them down. If you write them down, each one have their own voice and they may interpret the, the words differently. That's why it's good to make them alive. Why now we don't read too much? Because we have TV. They bring you everything, the picture and the words, everything is there. And why those people with words, they call them freestyler, freestyler, reciting. They say it alive because that gives a powerful picture more than writing. Writing is secondary because Allah put this, the hearing first. As-sam wal-basar. As-sam wal-basar. As-sam wal-basar. Hearing always comes first. Always. Hearing, that means you have to deliver alive. Writing is okay, but our life is much more stronger. Therefore, Prophet ﷺ delivered the Quran with verses alive to people. Of course, they understood the language and the picture was strong. They couldn't block or say, no, this is not right. This is this or this is that because the delivery is alive. And we have to deliver our da'wah alive. Alive, what you say with your words. May Allah forgive us. May Allah give us the power to fast this month of Shaban for those who can. Even one day, two day. Zoom and look at the 15th of Shaban. If you don't know when the 15th is coming, look at the moon. If it's full, you are there. And if you miss the first night of Shaban, we are the third, make a niyyah, the intention. So tonight, I'm going to pray for this month of Shaban. 12 rak'at with every rak'ah, Fatiha. And after the Fatiha, 15 times, Qurub Allah Wahad with Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allah will write for you 10,000 hasana in your book and erase from you 10,000 sayyah. This is something you can do extra for this month of Shaban. Otherwise, the Shaban can go and, and you don't do anything. May Allah grant us the love to do it. And if you can do it, say, oh Allah, I am weak one. <laughs> Al Ghalib Allah. Allah, you are the one who can inspire me to do it. If I cannot do it, forgive me. Because it's not fard, it's optional. And we can't make optional things fard. No, it doesn't work like that. We can do our salat, five salat. These are fard and the sunnahs that goes with it. And if you count them, you'll find 17 rak'ah, a fard, and then 17 are sunnahs. If they go together. And that's preparing you for the month of Ramadan, where the Quran is the main goal of that month, to fast, to recite the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that the Prophet sallallahu used to recite every Ramadan, the whole Quran to Sayyidina Jibreel once, like that. And the last, he fasted, he did nine, nine Ramadans. And the month uh, of Ramadan is also number nine. The last one, he recited the Quran twice. And therefore, we do have people that do tarawih, and they try to recite the Quran. Every year we do it once, alhamdulillah. You can't find on earth people who can do something like that or who can go with their face all the way down to praise Allah. We are the only people on, on this planet who do that. And we say, Alhamdulillah, that you allow me to make my face to go all the way down for you. Oh Allah, forgive me my sin and forgive all mankind. Pray, pray for everybody that Allah will make them 
and nice with each other. May Allah make us like wool. Wool. Why wool? Because the sheep, they have wool. And they stay together, but they don't hurt each other because the wool is soft. That's how the Sahaba was between them, like wool. May Allah make us like wool, soft with each other. May Allah make us like dates. The big one, the majul one, is sweet. And the small one is sweet also. Should be like that. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله فاستغفر الله إن الله غفور رحيم. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعود بالله من شرور أنفسنا وشر سيئات أعمالنا. حيث قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه العزيز إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلم مسلما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا ومولانا محمد شجرة الأصل النورانية ولمعة القبضة الرحمنية وأفضل الخالقة الإنسانية وأشرف الصورة الجسمانية ومعدن الأسرار الربانية وخزائن العلوم الاستفائية صاحب القبضة الأصلية والبهجة السنية والرتفة العالية من درجة النبيون تحت لوائه فهم منه وإليه وصل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وصحبه عاد ما خلقت ورزقت وأمت وحييت إلى يوم أن تبعث من أفنيت اللهم اجعل أول يومنا هذا صلاح وأوسطه فلاح وأخره نجاح اللهم اجعل أول يومنا هذا رحمة وأوسطه نعمة وآخره تكريمة ومغفرة الحمد لله الذي تواضع كل شيء لعظمته وذل كل شيء لعزته وخضع كل شيء لملكه واستسلم كل شيء لقدرته اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد الفاتح لما أغلق والخاتم لما سبق ناصر الحق بالحق الهادي إلى صراطك المستقيم وعلى آله حق قدره ومقداره العظيم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون ولا ذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون وأقيم الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر الشر لا إله إلا الله الشر محمد رسول الله على صلاح على الفلاح على قامة الصلاة على قامة الصلاة